Hi, I will show you how to create uh, this kind of simple bolt with Cinema 4D. Uh, this is uh, all made with mostly splines and uh, one cylinder object. It's very basic. And if you want to render it, uh, you can use uh, some HDRI map. Uh, and we are also making a material. Okay, just uh, create a new scene and go to splice menu and select helix. Mm, then go to attributes and uh, change radius uh, to start radius into 50 and end radius into 50 uh, and also height uh, into 150 then uh, change the plane as XZ now I can zoom uh, we have two few revolutions so we have to change the end angle so multiply that with 8 put a multiply and 8 so you have uh, 5760 degrees now uh, go to top view and you may wonder uh, what's the uh, this. What's the problem with this uh, end and bottom? I mean <laughs> these endings. Uh, the problem is now that we have two uh, few subdivisions. So uh, the solution is just to copy this uh, end angle. Uh, 576. So now if you go top can say it's uh, now it's okay <laughs> so we have uh, basically uh, each mm, uh, step for each angle okay now just uh, press alt and go to sweep nerves and uh, then just select rectangle change to width and height into 5 and drag this under sweep nerves as a child and the helix should be under, under the rectangle now it's uh, looking quite ok if you go to right view can see it's uh, twisting and bending. Alright, uh, we need to make the inner part. Uh, just uh, select the cylinder and uh, lift it up a little bit. Alright, maybe 98 is quite close yeah okay now we need to make the upper part so we can use this inside and select the plane and put 200 centimeters into Y and now it's very much too big but you can change the radius into 100 uh, then just uh, activate rounding, put maybe 5 centimeters. Alright, we are not just uh, extruding this, but it's possible to use it. But uh, I will show another way to do it. Uh, just uh, press Alt on keyboard and uh, select the loft nerves. Okay. Now you can copy this inside profile with 
control and click now you can lift this maybe into 25 and now just copy this and make it minus 25 okay now we have the basic form of this screw <laughs> but uh, there is no edge uh, I can show you this model we should have this uh, angle on the side on the bottom and the on the top part so okay back to modeling now just copy this profile and make it a minus 30 and change radius into 90 and also the top profile and make it that uh, 30 and change the radius into 90 <laughs> now you may wonder why this looks so uh, uh, funny uh, this is because you have this smooth in the place and you, but you can change the, uh, and this in the linear in the place so it's straight and not bending ok now you can test yeah it looks ok now you uh, create a material and just go to effects and lumas just change the color into some gray and also specular 2 in the gray and 3 some lighter gray and activate the uh, anisotropy uh, you can also activate the reflection it should be a little bit s uh, smaller maybe 40 uh, but first uh, close this down and now you can uh, select all and group them with algae bolt screw ok let's rename that also now you can test render this alright it looks good but uh, there are no very much reflections uh, create some uh, mm, reflection material just uncheck everything else but the luminance and just load some it's DRI map uh, you can go to my website and uh, find this uh, HDRI studio reflections back uh, there's a uh, free sample scene for release 12 uh, if you go to home page uh, you can also have this for uh, release 10 all right okay back to cinema now you just create a sky object and track this yeah you can have this cool reflections uh, there's a little bit too much maybe 50 anyway mm, this is how it's made mm, you can put some floor object alright there's no shadows but let's make a target light uh, maybe with 
shadow maps. Let's put the intensity down. Uh, now you can activate the global illumination. Uh, let's put accuracy on 75 and diffuse depth into 1 and maybe stochastic samples uh, 100 and make that 5. You can put maximum into 100. Let's make a render region. Yeah, it's uh, very dark, but you can try to uh, change the reflection brightness and uh, maybe also go to the this. Um, let's rename it HDR. Uh, go to exposure and put 0.5. All right, much better. And the reflection is not quite okay on that. Let's check check out the model. Uh, maybe you can change this banking off. Yeah, it looks much more better. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you. <laughs> Bye.